Hello everyone, my name is Kat. I'll be teaching you guys how to make some cocoa hot chocolate uh, bombs for um, the holidays. So to start, we'll need a mold as you can see. A nice plate to hold all of our lovely um, molds onto. A thing of marshmallows. Some um, cupcake holders. A packet of cocoa. And of course, some melted chocolate. And as for extra, we'll also require a small bag of melted chocolate and one or two spoons to help scrape the chocolate off of. So to begin, we'll take our chocolate. You can melt your chocolate in the microwave for um, 30 seconds at a time, up to one minute, okay? After each 30 seconds, just mix it until it looks um, nice and liquidy, as you can see. Okay. To begin, we'll just be taking a scoop of our chocolate. And we're going to put it, dab it right in the center. Don't want too much, though. We're going to be making two coats of this. So after you put it in the center, just slowly move your spoon in a circle around the mold. And you see no red spots. Just like that. Okay, and we'll do that five more times. Now this can be a messy project. Or the only the reason you don't want to thicken your chocolate and just use thin coats is because the chocolate won't dry while it's in the freezer and or refrigerator. All right. And last one, after you get all your chocolate molds filled, let's go ahead and get this in first. Okay. So your molds will look like this after they're filled. It's okay to have a little bit of red, not too much though. Like this one right here has a bit too much. You want to make sure that's not there. Same with this. Okay. Okay, once it's here, you're going to put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes. Um, and then afterwards, we'll put on the second coat. All right. So while we're waiting for those chocolate shells to um, freeze, we'll make another bag of chocolate just like this. This is so you can pipe on the outside, just in case that there is um, openings inside of your chocolate. Um, so it can make it look solid instead of with holes. Uh, the way to do this is the same that we did with the chocolate before. We just have chocolate in a bag. It doesn't have to be much, maybe a couple tablespoons. Melt it, and um, you could either do that on the stove top, or again, if you're using a microwave, it's 30 seconds, squish it up a little bit, and then another 30 seconds, all up to one minute. Okay, and then afterwards, we'll just make a little tiny cut there to uh, make the chocolate flow. I have found that through trial and error, it's best that the chocolate cools down a little bit because hot chocolate tends to melt the other chocolate and then it doesn't want to stick together. So it's fine to let it rest while everything is being prepared. All right, so now we are back after our 10 minutes and here we have our lovely molds. They're hard to the touch. If they're not, if yours are not hard to the touch, put them back in the freezer for like another five minutes. You do not want these to be soft. Okay, so now we'll be adding our second coat. As you can see, there's some that I uh, missed on a couple of my little shells. So, 
I'll just take another good heaping, dump it in there. All right, once again, we're back from our second 10 minutes. And again, these are nice and hard. You can tap them. Your fingers never leave your fingerprints. And everything's good to go. So to actually get these out, what we'll do is we'll take the silicone and we'll just pull it away from the chocolate edge very gently. Sometimes these are delicate, sometimes you're not, but you don't necessarily know which sides are actually delicate. Once you've pulled it away, you can take it and bend it downward, flip it, and you have a beautiful mold. Okay, and we'll just place this to the side on our chocolate tray, and we'll do that for the other five. Pull it. And push it. And bring into the picture our lovely molds. So we'll take one of our cupcake holders. This is the part that can be a little annoying, just a little bit, but not too bad. So, before we actually begin, I took some of the chocolate and I placed it here. This is so you can dip the edges of this into the chocolate and stick them together, which I'll show you in just a bit. Our other chocolate has cooled down quite a bit, so if there's any holds left, we won't have to worry about um, our shells melting. Okay. There we go. And right before we start, we'll just take small tip of this, you know, there's a thick piece of chocolate in there. Okay. So we'll just take a small bit of this. You don't want the hole to be too big or else you're going to have a mountain of chocolate. Okay. That should be a decent sized hole. I don't know if you can actually see that, but that's where the hole's at. So, now that we have our molds, we'll go ahead and open up our cocoa. Okay. It could be any cocoa, your favorite. Heck, you can make your own mix of cocoa if you prefer. Okay. We'll take one of the shells, turn it upright, and place it into the cupcake holder. Take a spoonful of cocoa. These shells are somewhat small so they can only hold about a tablespoon or so of cocoa. But it should still be good. There we go. And so here we have a lovely cocoa. If you like marshmallows in yours, we'll take some of the marshmallows off to the side and just place them in there. Okay. We want to make a little mountain because when we push down on the uh, when we push down on it with the uh, other the top. You don't want it to separate. All right. Now we'll take another piece of chocolate, dip it just very slightly. Make sure all edges are somewhat coated. Okay. Pick up this side, and then we're gonna stick them together as best as you can, just like that. Okay. Might not be the most perfect, but it's close enough. You could always hide your mistakes later. Okay. 
and we have our first chocolate bomb. Now these, after you put them together, will go back into the freezer for another five, 10 minutes. Um, just check it and make sure it's hard to the touch. Um, and we'll put this to the side, and we will repeat that process. All right, so this chocolate here is mainly for decorating and for fixing little mistakes like this. So after you've dipped your lovely chocolate here, and put it together with one of your molds. Of course, there's going to be a giant hole, which you can see here. So, what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll fill it in as best you can. Okay. And then that way, once you go in back and refreeze this, it looks like a decent ball again. So, put that in. And that completes our tutorial. Fill your mug three-fourths of the way with milk. Then warm it up in the microwave, but make sure it's not too hot. Then drop your hot cocoa bomb and it will dissolve like a bath bomb. If it's not rich enough or chocolatey enough, add a little bit more hot cocoa and enjoy.